I'm deepening the well. I'm enlarging the capacity of carrying the, the refreshing presence of the Lord that out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. I'm giving you a song of the Lord that shall even bring healing. And as you stand before the congregation, this song, this hallel, this spontaneous song unto the Lord, but it's really going to bring healing to the hearts of people that are gathered. For you don't know who is who's going to be gathered and the Lord brings in. I'm getting ready to bring in the brokenhearted and those whom nobody has given balm to bring healing. But you are a healer of the brokenhearted. You are a healer of those who have been outcast because in your own heart you know what it means to have the healing of the Lord Jesus in your heart. With the comfort you have received, will you also comfort others? Freely you have received, freely give back to that. And you're going to sense the weightiness of the Lord God upon you and all of a sudden open your mouth and begin to sing over the congregation like a Miriam. Spring up, O oh well. Spring up, O oh well. Bring healing to those that the Lord has gathered. And as it begins to, you begin to sing, all of a sudden the river begins to take a direction and a turn in the flowing of the river of God because I've caused you to be one, to be part of this river flow. And as you step in and begin to sense and know this is the way the Lord's moving, you're going to find others getting in after you. I am bringing times of refreshing through you and in you and upon you that is coming from the presence of the Lord. And this times of refreshing is this resuscitation that I'm bringing to people in this area. And as I breathe inside of you, so will you breathe out and prophesy and speak the word of the Lord that's going to cause her to be refreshing there. As you have freely been refreshed, you're going to freely refresh others. You carry this river that comes from the very throne room of God, and you're not to dam it up or hold it back and say, it is so good, but it'll flow out of you, and when it does, it begins to break open. I'm going to use you to break open. It's just as you're standing and worshiping, it's just going to break over you and recognize that I put you in this house as part of the releasing of the floodgates. And out of this house and out of this place, there's going to come a flow of the Spirit of God that people are going to be hungry and thirsting and said, I want to be a place not where they just talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit or believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, but I see it demonstrated. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 2, I don't come with enticing words of men's wisdom and excellency of speech, but I come in the demonstration of power in my spirit. And I've set you in a right place to demonstrate my power and my spirit. So I release these gifts. Some of these gifts have been on the shelf. And I remove the shelves. So it'll no longer be shelved any longer. And I remove any holding back. And I'm saying with confidence of the Holy Spirit, the Father has need of you. He unties you like that coat that he rode into Jerusalem. I am untying you from being tethered to that one place and that one thing and being known, I'm just is this, I'm just this, I'm known for this. And the Lord is saying, spiritually, you can use left hand, right hand. I've given you many more tools than what you've even known. So whatever is in need at the moment, you're going to give it because out of your innermost being, flows the issues of life to this house. I've called you as an elder. You're not just filling a position of an elder. You are a called elder. And the Lord wants you to know that you're called and my hand is upon you. You're going to be one who understands the issues of inventory. That you're going to know what's in the warehouse. You're going to know exactly what is being inventoried. So as every gift that's in this house, you can say, we need to connect with that guy. That person has that gift not being utilized. We need to bring them out. We need to put our hands upon them and release them and commission them to do that. That I'm not going to send people in to be warehoused. I'm going to bring them in to be released. And that the gifts of the Holy Spirit are going to flow in and out of them. Not just to observe what's doing. But the Lord is giving you a voice, and he's saying, speak up because your voice needs to be heard. There was a time when you felt like it doesn't matter what I say. It really is not an issue, you know. 
I'm just filling this position. But the Lord is saying, I've given you a voice, and your words are weighty before the Lord, and your words are weighty in this house. Don't swallow them and push them down, but I release them. From this day on, it will not be suppressed, and you suppress them, but you're going to say, I must give this because I am a good steward of the manifold grace of God, the multifaceted word of the Lord. And every time I give what he's given me, more shall be given besides. I am giving you a spirit of wisdom that you're going to understand how to solve problems and solutions. And being a problem solver is going to not just in this house, but bring you before people of great authority, and they want to know, how did you solve this problem? How did you deal with this? And it's going to be recognized it was you that did it. And you're not going to be passed over, but you're going to be brought before, and the Lord's hand is on you, and you're saying, well, the Lord has given me wisdom. You're going to step into places that is not necessarily spiritual places, but you are the spiritual place. And when you step into that location as a spiritual place, you're bringing light right into that and don't hide it and saying, the Lord showed me this is how we do it. You're going to solve situations that have other people haven't figured it out because I'm going to set you right among some of these people that are so religious that they're bound up and they don't even know it and they can't even see what God's doing. And I'm going to place you there and give you favor in such a way that you're going to speak a word in due season that's going to release them from the religious bondage. I'm going to set you among people that have a form of godliness, but they've been denying the power for so long. And the Lord is saying, the two of you are going to start demonstrating the power of God to destroy that religious spirit. So I've placed you in this house to know that engage every gift, every ministry, every person that, I have, that my hand is upon, engage them in saying, here, connect here, serve here, be here, and all that. Don't worry about being too much over the top. The Lord wants you to get a little bit farther up the top. Don't be concerned. Well, I don't want to do anything that would be offended. I don't think that you have offensiveness in you. But the Lord is saying, I am wanting to give you more boldness than you've ever known before. It is your boldness because you carry something that this house needs. And now I'm releasing it. I'm unlocking it so it's not hidden away. Now is the time that God is saying, son and daughter, I have need of you. And I've called you into this house to release what I've deposited you. And you're going to see a great increase coming. And you're going to be part of this harvest. I just heard that you're the the fun planners, the fun couple. You love to have fun in church. You love to have fun outside of church. That's not just a personality trait, but there's a spiritual uh, gifting that God has placed upon y'all's lives. It's a spirit of joy and the oil of gladness that releases this joy of the Lord and this fun that brings unity to the body. I just saw such a strength of unity between you two that God was has used you and is going to use you to bring unity to this community. That the strength of unity in this place is strong, but it's going to be stronger even in the coming days. As God adds to you, the Lord's going to give you strategies and ideas to strengthen the unity of the fellowship. And I just saw just these really wild, creative ideas that were just fun, but it brought people together. And it wasn't just fun, it was fun in him. Because it was, it was through that anointing of that joy and that oil of gladness that just flows in you guys and flows through you guys. I also heard balanced perspective. Balanced perspective that you guys, you see everything in balance. You don't see one extreme or the other extreme. You help the two extremes come together and, s and become balanced. And I saw you two sitting on a floor, and you had that, that, that green Lego um, flat piece, and you were, had all the colored blocks, and you all were putting pieces together. And the Lord said, I I've given them eyes to see where the pieces go, where the right pieces fit in place both with the body and just even in practical logistical things. It's a part of that balanced perspective that he's given you to, and he's causing you to grow up in that and be more bold and more confident in that because this body will need this in this coming season, this coming day. Thank you, Lord. 
The Bible says that elders are to be among the people. The two of you are among them. You're not over them. It's not a position of that kind of authority. But there is spiritual authority, but you're not over them. You're among them. You're a gatherer of men. I mean, they, get, they gather around you like flies. There's something about you that's, that's just attractive. It, it, it's attractive to men. There's something about the power of God in you, and not just the physical power, but the, the desire to see God's power released in the house of the Lord, a desire to see healing. These things take place. I am going to cause you in the days to come to come into, the, into a place of revelation so that the sharing of the Word of God will come from, from deep in your heart. And you're not going to have to struggle to find the truth in the Word. You're going to be able to find it as it relates to your own life and to your life experiences. It's going to be very simple, but you will find revelation coming to you in the night. You'll find it happening to you uh, in, during the day when you're driving along. You'll stop and make a note and say, oh, my, I see this. I see it. And God brings, breaks it open to you, and you're able to apply it. And in turn, you will be able to give it to other men. I see you even organizing men in, in ways that you and the pastor have talked about and prayed about. And you will see, you will see that there will be groups of men with different emphasis in, in this house, that there is, a, there is a plan that God is going to give you. For he, he is giving you discernment. Uh, discernment of uh, for people he's given you wisdom in how to place people and he's given you the power of God to be released in healing demonstration of God's love in the body of Christ and so we bless you in the name of Jesus and sister I know that your heart is for the things of God there's a, going to be a fresh breakthrough not that you feel like you need one but there is going to be a surprise visitation of God into your heart I believe that God's releasing you right now what I hear him saying is he's releasing you now to be a specialist in the area of praying for people for the baptism in the Holy Spirit that you we, you will be able to pray and and release people to to the freedom of the spirit to praying in the spirit praying in tongues to believing that God it, is, it can do and is able to do anything that needs to be done in their lives and there will be a fresh outpouring of the, of the Spirit of God upon you in this area of a release of the Holy Spirit in and upon people. That you would pray for someone and the Holy Spirit will fall. The Holy Spirit will fall. I'm saying it again. The Holy Spirit will fall. There won't be any question that he will fall. And whenever you see that happen, you'll see the evidence of the Spirit. They will prophesy. They will pray in tongues. They will begin to do the things that the, that the Spirit leads them to do. For you are also a mother in the house of, of, of the Lord. And you will be a spiritual mom, in particularly in the area of spiritual things and spiritual administration and spiritual release into people's lives and particularly into, into women's lives. So, woman of God, get ready. There is a visitation coming. It's going to be a surprise to you, and it's going to release a joy and a river through you like you've never experienced before. You're going to have songs of deliverance that's going to come forth that will cause people to be set free by hearing the song that God gives you. Hallelujah. Amen. Love the two of you great elders in the house of the Lord. Amen. Really elders. really elders. Really elders. Lord, we thank you for really elders. Amen. We thank you for Chuck and Donna. We receive them, Lord. They've been here forever, forever, and they're going to be here forever, Lord Jesus. And great things will happen through them, Lord. Great things. You, all the things that were just spoken of them, they are the desire of these guys' hearts, Lord. And I thank you that it's going to become powerful. It's going to grow. We receive the word of the Lord as it is. We will not let the word of the Lord drop to the ground. We will not not honor it, but we will honor it, receive it. It will bear fruit in our hearts. And I ask, Lord, that the words that Chuck and Donna have heard would go deep in their hearts and bear great fruit. 
that we would listen to these prophetic words, we'd pray over them, and we would see them happen in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We receive you as really elders. We've got elders and really elders. Amen.